Uh, we were just finishing up this presentation that we're doing mainly on Illuminati, Hitler's uh, people mobile or the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen that they try to perform divination. Now some people say, okay, we're just maybe making this up, so forth and so on, though all the science basically is right and exact concerning this particular man. Now look at this right here. I want to show you something. Now let me bring up the um, Microsoft photo. Now there's a picture. I was trying to determine whether it was actually from the um, the time of the Derg. And if you look at this picture over here, with Hitler in the background and the Nazis and the masquerade, and you see the Volkswagen. Now let's see if we can bring up the Volkswagen a little bit better. Um, and here it's right here in the background. Now you can see this Volkswagen, right? Because we saw this particular picture of His Imperial Majesty, right? But then we noticed something in the corner, right? We first of all was identifying whether this is the same Volkswagen, so we looked at the window or the same style of Volkswagen, the early Volkswagen. Right, and then we see the window right here, and the color even. And then we look over here, and we see this particular Volkswagen. You can tell that the window, you can even see the particular. This could even be, who knows, the very same car. Right, we know these people are ritualists. Now, here's Hitler right here. Here is um, the Antichrist, one of the Antichrists of that period of time. And these are some of the goons. The Satanistic soldiers, right? But now let's notice the Volkswagen. You see the Volkswagen right here? To show that this is the same, this is the same car. Now we notice something. Notice, if you will, right? Let's zoom out here. Notice, if you will, it looks like this soldier's hand is pointing, right? But then look at it carefully. Let's go in. Look at it carefully. Do you see what this particular Derg or soldier or agent or um, Ethiopian Satanist is doing behind his Imperial Majesty's head. He's doing the the goat head salute, the Baphomet. Look, we basically circle it so you can see it a little bit better in this photo. Because people will say, okay, we're just making it up. But no, this is this is obviously one of the pictures. Remember what one of the testimonies said that after the so-called arrest or after the so-called coup and all that was gone, his majesty was all the way in a military uniform as he was in, still in charge, so to speak, and in which he still carried that divine or magical quality. And this is why they performed or attempted this divination. But when we saw that, we had to circle the hand and notice the hand sign. This just proves more our main contention about the divination that they attempted against his imperial majesty, because this is a Volkswagen right here. You can tell this when you compare it with this particular Volkswagen. Remember, we can only see the window part. So if we look at the window part carefully, look at the um, windshield wipers, then go over here and look at this one. You see the windshield wipers almost in the similar position. Right? And then... When we look at this picture a little more carefully, let's see if we can zoom this in. Not this one right here. Zoom this picture in. When we looked at it more carefully, but that hand sign was very curious. And the larger that we get to the hand sign, we can basically clearly see here. You can see clearly right there. Cool. First we said, what is this person doing behind? You can't see this person behind his imperial majesty. Someone's holding the door and his majesty is looking. He's kind of just looking, right? Let's see if we get a close-up. He's looking right here. And then you see this curious hand sign. Whoa. You understand? Who knows how long this conspiracy... Well. We know that this is 6,000 plus years of this, but this is very, very interesting, and this is just something we wanted to share in this um, investigation to the Volkswagen, the 666, the VW, 
V double V, and then the flip mode that is Imperial Majesty, understanding what these symbols, you know what I'm saying, being in that sense like Moses was to Janus and Jambres, a greater magician, because this symbol right here is Kepra, right, symbolic of this Volkswagen Beetle, right, the, the very Beetle, this was September 11th, notice the significant date, September 11th, 1974, and then the Kepra, we notice by looking at the etymology of it, Kepra could also be Hebri, could be Hebri, Kepri, Kepri, Hebri, like Hebri, like Hebrew. And what does Hebrew mean? Hebrew means to cross over, to go from low degrees to high degrees. And we can see that transformative nature of his imperial majesty in the manifestation of Abba Kedus, as you can see. So, the verse from Numbers 23 and 23 is so true. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Yaakov and of Israel, What hath God wrought? What hath he done? So this is very curious, and we're going to have to investigate this, especially this hand sign. Once again, take a good look at it. And remember, it's behind his imperial majesty's back. If you look at his majesty, it's like he almost perceives that. But you have to understand the father in that sense. Just like the conspiracy of Sutan or Shaitan, even from the beginning, when you ask yourself, how could the fallen angels rebel against God since they knew God? You understand, know since they were in his presence, they ministered before him, how and why would they do what they did? It's one of those divine enigmas. More to come. Yahweh, Shalom. Pass the fire.